Hello, my name is Jessica Sidhu, and welcome to our PowerPoint on child stunning and macromolecules. This was made with Tyree Waters and Joanna Barragon. Macromolecules are large molecules made from monomers and polymers. Polymers are chains of monomers, and monomers are a basic unit of a macromolecule. There are four macromolecules, lipids, carbohydrates, proteins, and nucleic acids. And lipids, carbohydrates, and proteins are needed for you to sustain a healthy lifestyle. The four macromolecules, carbon pyrrhate, contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms made out of monoclides, monomers, and polysaccharides, polymers, short-term energy source. Example, like bread and noodles. <clears throat> Lipids have no real monomers and polymers as a long-term energy source. It contains hydrogen and carbon and oxygen atoms, atoms. Example, like cheese and butter. Nucleic acid, made, of, made from nucleotides and polynucleotides. Stores generic <clears throat> information. Example, like DNA and RNA, proteins made from amino acids and polypeptides provide structure and, and make things needed to lead a healthy life. Example, chicken and milk. To lead a healthy lifestyle, you should balance what you eat, balance um, lipids, carbohydrates, and protein. If you eat too many lipids or carbohydrates, there's a danger of disease, and it, disease could eventually lead to death. So it's important you exercise daily to burn off excess fat so you don't become overweight or you don't gain any diseases. So child stunting is when a young kid is underway or below their height because they are not receiving the nutrients that they need. It's prevalent in third world countries in Africa and Asia, but also affects low income families in the United States. Children, they have to receive important nutrients in the first thousand days of life. Otherwise, they're at risk of child stunting and they will fall behind in their development. 39% of children in developing nations in Africa and Asia are stunted. Causes of child stunting. During pregnancy and breastfeeding, poor maternal nutrition can lead to stunted growth of their children. Pregnant women that are underweight or anemic are more likely to have stunted children. If a child is poorly fed and lacks energetic vitamins, there's a chance that the child will suffer of child stunting. Effects of child stunting. Children suffering from child stunting have weak immune systems and they are prone to deadly diseases. Children who are stunted have less developed brains and it is more for them to learn and that affects their future. The productivity of stunted people affects the economic me as they produce less and spend more money. Prevalence around the world. About 35% of children that are under 5 years old, which is about 209 million children, are stunted. There's about 148 million stunted children in Asia, 40 million in Africa, 12 million in Middle East and North Africa, and about 900 million in Africa. Child stunting is a serious problem all over the world. People would think that only poor countries would have stunted children, but that's not the case. America has about 9 million stunted children, and yet not many people know that. Child stunting rates have been decreasing since the late 2000s. However, the problem is still common in third world countries. So how can we stop it? Well, first, we can educate the mothers of the babies and provide them with resources to feed the babies. To, um, to provide them with resources, donations are one of the best ways to help um, Donations provide provide the money to buy food 
Also, a propo another proposal is educating the mothers. Many, many of the mothers in the third world countries um, lack a formal education, so they don't know what they need and what nutrients their babies need. This leads to the babies being undernourished and them becoming unhealthy and eventually developing child stunting and the mother has no idea what to do because usually they themselves are scared and they themselves have maybe might have suffered from as a child so a donation might go a long way so if you want to donate go to borgenproject.com and donate there these are the resources that we use to research this presentation